here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Ja, und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge vom Spiel Tell Me Why. Warum sie jetzt da hinten stehen bleibt, weiß ich nicht. Also ich weiß schon warum, aber es sah jetzt eigentlich so aus, als ob sie mitkommt. Wir versuchen uns hier mal ein bisschen zu bewegen. So, did you ever come back? Und es klingelt. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. Oh, what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Ja, ich wollte die beiden jetzt nicht unterbrechen. Da war gerade DHL an der Tür. Die haben diesmal wirklich ein richtig tolles Timing gehabt. Ah, Moment. Hier ist was. Das hier nicht. Hier ruht Robin. Ach so, muss ich die jetzt alle... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Ähm, ich weiß gar nicht mehr, wie sie jetzt überhaupt heißt. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branchy? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> Because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. Okay, das scheint es auch nicht zu sein. This might take a while. Ja, ähm, ich schaue noch mal eben im Menü drauf. Tessas Eltern steht da nur. Okay, da steht jetzt nichts im Sinne von Namen. Olsen. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. Oder auch nicht, ne? Hallo. So. How are you um holding up? Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So, what was your uncle like? Oh boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T Rex and never leaves his recliner? Tip me on T Rex? Uh. Just how does one type like a T-Rex? You know, uh, almost kissing the keyboard. Like, makes you look like you got tiny baby arms. Like a T-Rex. Never change, Michael. Anyway, as grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at. Even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clink it. 
spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. <laughs> I'm trying to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. You know why I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold, goes double for food. Uh, so we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? Are you serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Says the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses. And they do infrared, so I see everything. Zum großen Baum und nach rechts, okay. <coughs> hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. So, Mädel, kommst du mit oder bleibst du hier? So. Also, ich nehme an, das meinen die da mit großen Baum und dann rechts. Also müssten wir dann hier durch. Die Frage ist nur, hallo. Ja, wenn ich auf öffnen klicke, sollst du es öffnen. Ja, toll, am krummen Baum. Was ist für ein krummer Baum? Kann man da hoch? Louis. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while his face pops up. It's super weird. Tja. Allison, you coming? I'll be right there. Well, I better make sure he doesn't get lost. Also hier wäre jetzt links herum. Da kann man auch nicht weiter. Und wieso darf ich nicht am Baum nach rechts gehen? Ich meine, Mann hat ja gerade gesagt, am großen Baum nach rechts. So, wo läuft sie jetzt hin? Das ist aber kein krummer Baum hier. Ben. Short and simple. I like it. Come on. There's only a handful left. Okay, also entweder stehe ich hier auf dem Schlauch oder ich weiß auch nicht, warum ich diese blöde Tür hier nicht öffnen kann. Kann man hier noch... Ja, da kannst du auch nichts machen. Anything? No, just a whole lot of nothing. Wait up. Michael said it would be close to the crooked tree. Ja, der hat ja auch gesagt, am großen Baum nach rechts. Aber am großen Baum nach rechts konnten wir ja nicht. Ich denke mal, dass das der einzige große Baum hier ist. Und die sind ja alle so ein bisschen krumm. Oh, hier sind wir reingekommen. Ist jetzt nicht wirklich ein krummer Baum. Kann ich sowieso nicht hoch. Hm. Hallo? Machst du das auch? Mom, why do we always come here? 
Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. So. Nachdem sich dann auch dieses Motorrad endlich mal verabschiedet hat, können wir vielleicht mal weitersuchen. Also im Endeffekt hatten wir hier schon alle durch. No Deswegen. Es gibt hier weder einen krummen Baum, noch äh, können wir an den Baum nach rechts gehen. Hier waren wir ja, glaube ich, schon. No Dice. De Leon. That's the one. Don't tell ah. me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. War das jetzt eine Erinnerung? Nee. Aber hier sind wir doch eben schon mal gewesen. Hä? Hier ist kein krummer Baum in der Nähe. Nichts in der Art. Und nun? Ach, jetzt kann ich... Äh, euer Ernst? Jetzt kann ich das Tor öffnen. Das muss ich jetzt nicht verstehen, oder? It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to. Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Hmm. Dana ice skating on Wednesday. I wish you could have seen her. She took off across that ice like she was born to do it. Can we go through? No, here we go. Come on. Got an offer for a real job, me. Teaching music and history at the high school. Then will the crumbled baum, I think, be here somewhere. But that's really a very strange description. So. Welches? No dice. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah. Not hers. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? Why can't I remember? Where is she? Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Kids, I, uh, 
I, I wasn't expecting to see. What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away! I couldn't let her drag you down with her! She had you stealing for God's sake! Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. I 
That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. <laughs> exactly. Awkward as hell. You wanna sit down for a bit? Um, wenn es sein muss. Achso. Hallo. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Tja, nicht gelaufen wie geplant, das stimmt allerdings. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not going to be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. 